All right then my friends, so there's one last thing I want to do with this Wordle game and that is to make a modal appear on the screen when the game ends. And remember, that can either be when we guess the solution correctly or if we run out of turns. So whenever any of those conditions are met, we want to show a modal. And obviously the message in the modal is going to be different for each end game scenario. For example, if they guess correctly, then the modal is going to say well done or something like that. But if they run out of turns, I'm going to say something like better luck next time. So let's make this modal component in our project. So then let's first of all make a brand new modal component over here, modal.js, RFC and tab. And let's just leave it like that for now because what we want to do is nest this modal component inside the Wordle component. Now it's gonna go down here under the keypad for now. Let me just output the modal like so. Now we don't always want to show the modal, right? We only want to show it when there's an end game scenario. So what I'm gonna do is create some state to control whether that modal gets shown or not. So we'll say const and we're gonna call this show modal and set show modal like so. And we're gonna set that equal to use state and I'm gonna click on that to auto import it at the top. And the initial value of this is false because we don't want it to show to begin with. And then down here, we can use curly braces and say show modal, double ampersand, and then modal like so. And now this only shows when this is true. Now there's a few props we want to pass into the modal. The first one is gonna be is correct. So we set that to is correct. And that's so that inside the modal later on, we can detect whether the user has ended the game by guessing correctly. Because if we show the modal when they've run out of turns, this is gonna be false. So inside the modal later on, we'll do a check for that prop. And if is correct is true, then we can output a nice message, well done. If it's false, then we output a different message, okay? All right, so we also want to pass through as well the turn number, and this is for the same kind of thing. We can detect then if they've run out of turns, and we can even maybe output the turn if we want to, how many turns it took them to guess correctly. So we'll pass that in as a prop as well. And then finally, we're gonna pass through the solution as a prop. So if they don't guess correctly, they run out of turns, we can at least show them the solution at the end. So now we have the modal, but it's never going to show because this is always false. So we need to make it true at some point. And we're going to make it true up here. So if is correct or if the turn is over five, because that's when we want to show the modal in one of those scenarios. Now, I'm not going to show it straight away. What I'm going to do is wait for just a couple of seconds after their last guess, and then I want to show the modal. Otherwise, as the last guess is being animated in, as the tiles start to rotate, it's going to pop up. So we don't want that. We want to wait for that animation and then we want the modal to pop up. So what I'm going to do is use a set timeout like this. And the timeout is going to fire a function after a certain amount of time. And that function is going to fire after 2000 milliseconds or two seconds. And then what we'll do is just set show modal right here to be true. So after two seconds, when the game is over, we're going to show the modal. And I'm going to copy this and paste it right down here as well. And now in both cases, we're showing the modal after 2000 milliseconds, awesome. All right, so that's all the logic done in this component. Now we need to go to the modal itself, accept these props right here, is correct, turn and solution, and do something with them and output some kind of message. So let me grab the props first. We need is correct. We also need the turn, and we also need the solution. All right, so then what do we want to do? Well, we want to return a div, first of all, which is going to represent the modal uh, wrapper, if you like. So let's give this a class name equal to modal. And then inside here, we want to output a different message dependent on these values. So what I'm going to do is output a certain message if we have a value for is correct, if that is true. So is correct, double ampersand, and then parentheses to output some template if we have a value of true for is correct. And this is going to be a div, first of all. Let's close that off as well. And inside the div, we're going to have an h1. And that will say, you win, exclamation mark. And underneath that, we'll have a paragraph. And in fact, we'll give this a class name as well, equal to solution. This is where we're going to show what the solution word was. And we'll just output that in curly braces, solution, like so. 
Below that, we'll do another paragraph tag and we'll say, you found the solution in, and then we'll output the number of turns, so turn, and then say guesses, like so. And then a smiley face, let's be nice. All right, and that's all we need to output in the message if they win the game. If is correct is true. Now, if it's not, if we get a false value for that, we want to output something else. So let me copy this, paste it down here, and then put an exclamation mark in front of is correct. And now we're saying, look, if is correct is false, now we want to output this instead. So we're going to say right here, instead of you win, we'll say, never mind. Um, if we can spell it, never mind. And then down here, we still want to output the solution, and we'll say better luck next time, or something like that. Better luck next time with a smiley face. All right, so that's pretty much all we need to do. Now we have this modal component, which only shows when the game is ended in either of these scenarios, when they guess correct or if they run out of turns. So let's see if this works. Before we do that though, I've just realized we need to import the modal component up here. So let me do that. I'm gonna say import modal from dot forward slash modal. And now hopefully this should work. So then first off, I wanna try what happens when we run out of guesses. So I've already made five guesses, let's do one more. And then when I enter this and it's not correct, then we should get the modal. Press enter. And we do get the modal, but it's down here. It's not styled correctly at the minute. So we'll style this better shortly, but at least this comes up now if we run out of turns, awesome. So let me refresh and this time, we don't see a modal at the bottom, but if I guess correctly, then after a couple of seconds, we should see that modal at the bottom. Yep, and it says you win this time, awesome. So the functionality is all there, we just need to style it to make it look better. So inside the index.css, I'm just gonna paste in a few styles straight from the course files. And this, first of all, is targeting the modal. And remember, that's this div that surrounds the entire modal. And what we say here is give this a background color of RGBA 255 all the way across, which is white, but then an opacity of 0.7. And this is basically gonna be the background that goes across the entire screen and it kind of fades it out a little bit, it makes it kind of white and faded. So we give this a position of fixed, so it stays in the same position at the back of the screen all the time. And then the width is 100% of the browser, the height is 100% as well. So it takes up the whole screen, top zero, left zero, so it starts up here as well. So that's kind of the backdrop, if you like. Now the div inside the modal, which if we go back over here, is this or this, dependent on which one we output. We say for that, give that a max width of 480 pixels, background of white, a padding all the way around of 40 pixels, border radius of 10 pixels to soften up the corners, a margin of 10% top and bottom, just to bring it away from the top a little bit, an auto left and right, which is gonna centralize it on the page horizontally. A box shadow is two pixels, two pixels, 10 pixels, just to give it some depth. And that's kind of like a black semi-transparent box shadow. The solution, which is the solution word we output right here, it has a class of solution, right? We just wanna make that look a little bit different. So we color the text red, font weight bold, font size is 0.8 uh, Ms, so we reduce it a little bit, uppercase and letter spacing is one pixel, just to spread out the letters a little bit. So hopefully this is gonna make the model look a little bit better. All right, so first of all, let's try what happens when we run out of guesses. I'm just gonna say rains here, and if we press enter, then we can see never mind, and then the actual solution word, and better look next time. And this model looks a lot better now, and we can see how that background is kind of faded out. That was the white backdrop I talked about. Now I'm gonna refresh and see if the same happens for if we get the solution correct. So I'm gonna guess relax, which is the solution word, and press enter, and now we can see we get this model again. It's correct, and it says you win, but again, it looks a lot better. So then my friends, that's the game pretty much complete now. And I know absolutely everything isn't the same as the original, but it's a pretty close clone, and you can always tweak this yourself to add those extra features in pretty easily. So then my friends, I really, really hope you enjoyed this series and you learned something along the way. If you did, please, please, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot. And if you want to access all of my YouTube courses without adverts, also get access to premium courses and early access courses as well, you can do at netninja.dev. You can sign up for NetNinja Pro, which is just $9 a month and also half price for the first month with this promo code, 
right here and for that like i said you get access to every course without adverts without youtube adverts you also get access to exclusive courses not found anywhere else you get access to my premium courses on udemy and also early access to all of my youtube courses as well so the link to this page to sign up is going to be down below again i really hope you enjoyed this series and i'm going to see you in the very next one